Yo, what's good? Your phone with three here back in the day, and today, guys, we are here for episode number 11 of our Forza Motorsport 5 throwback let's play. Now, I do want to just bring this to your attention, guys, because it's not that we're getting rid of this let's play. Who knows? It may come back. It may come back as, you know, maybe a once a week sort of deal, maybe a once a month sort of deal. But as of right now, it seems like this may be the last episode of our Forza Motorsport 5 throwback let's play for now because. Today is Thursday, which, if you guys don't know what that means, it means Forza 7 is coming out tonight. Burr, 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 burr. Hey, I, I am so excited, guys. I am so freaking excited because since I live in the central time zone, it actually will be released for me around 10.59 at night, which is pretty decent. It's, it's really a little late for me. Uh, I would prefer it to be a little bit earlier so I could record and go to bed on time. But right now, it's actually, I'm recording this, not, I'm recording when I should be in bed because I got work in the morning, guys. I got work in the morning. I got to be there at 7 a.m. It's 10 o'clock right now. So if you guys hear me being a little bit tired, a little bit growl I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. But you know me, guys. You know me. I like my sleep. I like my sleep. But anyway, though, today I decided to go ahead and pick one of the cars that has been showing up in the top of the leaderboards so often, the KTM Crossbow. I can't wait to go ahead and give this car a try, guys. I've been looking forward to this. I figure with this A-Class event, this will be actually a really good place to go and wrap it up because we've only got three more races left in this series. And today, we should be able to finish it up. And maybe, just maybe, we'll go and buy a really really nice car or something like that at the very end just you know have a little bit of a good time but anyway though let's go ahead and hop on into it start this career off right oh although continue career not start it we got our KTM crossbow and I'm so excited for this today we are going to Switzerland ooh I don't feel too good guys I, I'll be straight up honest I feel a little bit ill uh, I don't know what's going on but I'm really hoping it goes away here soon it, it feels like one of those things that it, it like you've already treated it, but it, and it's gonna go away, but it gets a little bit worse over time. I I don't know. It it doesn't feel great. It doesn't feel great. But anyway, though that more, enough about me. God, we're back to the Alps, my favorite circuit in what is supposed to be the fastest car in A class for Forza Motorsport Five. Just looking at that leaderboards. I mean, we'll, we'll go ahead and check it right here. Check on the time. 1 minute 40 seconds, guys. KTM Crossbow. Let's see how well we can do. We aren't going to come anywhere close to that. But let's check around, my friends. Uh, Yeah, I, I, I kind of know that. All right, so let's see here. So we got some 155, some 2 minutes. We'll see. We'll see how good we can do. There's a couple 149s down here with some dirty laps, so that's kind of interesting. We'll, we'll, we just got to see. We just got to see where we come. So like I said earlier, if we go back over here, yes, I know. Okay, so that's friends. Top scores. 140 is the time to absolutely be. And we ain't going to do that because we ain't been practicing all that much. But let's go ahead and hop on into it. I'll be happy if we get a sub two-minute time. That's what I think I'll be happy with. I think I'll be happy with a sub two-minute time. All right, come on, Crossbow. Come on. Show me what you are made of. Oh. We're off to a good start. Hell, we didn't even have to break through that corner. That tells you guys anything. Oh. Oh, yes. We're already up here into eighth place. Come on. Get out the way, man. Get out my lane. Now, I'm sure, though, that we are definitely going to have to break through here just a little bit. Oh, my God. This car is OP. For A class, this car is OP. Look at this. Look at this. We are juking and vibing, barely having to touch the brakes. This is why the Radical SR8 in Forza Horizon was my favorite car, guys. It was my favorite car because it did this shit right here. You know, you brake just a little bit, 
and then you're able to go through any turn that you want. It, it, it's, it's a crazy, crazy card. Now, the KTM Crossbow, from what I know, in like some of the future games, <laughs> it must have been... This, this is a good-ass car, where basically this feels like it's got to be up there with some of like the other really, really great cars in the game. Where, like, in Forza Horizon 2, I didn't really use it because it felt like the KTM Crossbow was always sliding around everywhere. It feels so good, and I bet what it was is for going to be able to get clean. But, oh my god, guys, we're already beat our two-minute time. That's insane, guys. That is insane right there. That's how good we just got. We are going to reverse that shit because... We can, we can. We are going to go for the best damn time that we can get on each one of these laps, even if it requires a little bit of reverse, because I want to get a good lap time this time, guys. I want to get a decent lap. 150. We're just going to keep on chugging along here, get the best time we can, hopefully start off the next lap with a clean lap, so we can't mess up on those last couple turns, and just power through this thing just power through it oh my god guys this is gonna be so good so good we're actually reaching almost our max speed here oh yes i highly recommend get a ktm crossbow get a ktm crossbow and just dominate the field especially in this a class turning oh my god guys this is so good so good uh, uh, so good. Uh, I got a feeling. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my god, guys. It's, this is miraculous. Again, with the drifting shit. That was supposed to be a full turn. You guys see it right there. It just decided not to turn on me at all. Damn control, guys. I really need to get It really. All right, here we go. I'm really hoping that my TV's volume is not coming through my mic, and then it's causing some weird kind of... That would not be good. That would not be good. All right, clean lap to start, 152. I need to make sure my TV volume's down. It is off. It is off. Okay. I thought there was a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a lag since I'm streaming in 1080p this time instead of 720, but I guess not. Let's see what we can do, guys. Clean lap to start. Can we get an amazing time? Oh, yes. We are going for it. We are going for gold, guys. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, we're a little wide there. A little bit wide. Come on. You're such a good card. Come on. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Oh, yes. I'm really concentrating right now, guys. I know normally right about now, I normally start telling a story from the day. But right now, guys, I'm concentrating. I am just, I'm in the zone. This is my best track. This is the best. We're at 120. We got 20 seconds left before we we get beat by first place. First place. If we somehow beat first place, I am the fours of God. And just you know. Oh no! 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 Nine was our fastest time. So our final lap was a little bit slow because we had that final crash. God dang it. Dang it, man. Dang it. We had some 149s that were dirties that were the fastest laps uh, out of the friends. So, but damn, we were so close, guys. We were so close. Oh. Oh, I'm disappointed with myself. We did reach driver level 16, though. So we do get ourselves 35,000 credits. 
And we did reach Affinity Level 1 for the KTM Crossbow. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Yes. We are going to go ahead and continue on to our next race with our Crossbow. Which I just realized. I remember saying in the last episode we that we were coming in first. Of Germany we need to go ahead and boost the difficulty. Especially since we got this car now. Since we got this car, guys. This car is so good. We gotta, we gotta boost the difficulty. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. All right. Once we get here to Nurburgring, or not the Nurburgring. This is just Nurburg. Although it is part of the Nurburgring. I don't know, guys. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, drive into our difficulty. We gotta boost this shit up. Go into pro. Here we go. I think though. After the Forza Motorsport 7, you know, if we keep on doing this Forza 5 Let's Play uh, on a weekly basis, maybe, like, you know, maybe we'll have, like, a special episode on Saturday or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what day it'll be on. We'll, we'll do something, though. We'll do something with it. Maybe, just maybe, what we'll do is we'll boost the difficulty all the way up. All the way up! Um, all the way up! And we will see our best positions that we can get on Unbeatable and get our asses handed to us because we are booty. We are booty, guys. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm not going to concentrate as hard on this one because that's not entertaining, guys. What we need to do is we need to tell a story. And I need to think of a story. So, I don't, I don't actually know. So, I, I can't even think of a story, guys. It's bad. It's bad. I kind of have a boring day today, to be honest. Super excited. Sort of an average day. It was still good. It was still good. Felt kind of boring, but, uh, you know. We can't all have, like, super fantastic days every single day. Wish we could, but, you know, sometimes you gotta have a boring day. You gotta have a boring day. And basically all I did is I sat on my desk, and I, I did a just office work so I mean yeah that, that's about it I didn't really do anything super special or anything like that I mean I, I kinda got a bunch of things on my plate right now at work so I mean that's kinda cool but I, I feel like I'm finally you know starting to get into the groove of things you know it's been a little while but I think I'm finally getting there you know what I'm saying and it's going good. It's going good. Work is good. Work is good. But, like I said, today was just kind of boring. You know, I uh, I had to update my resume. They, they wanted an updated resume for some reason. I don't know why. So I had to go ahead and update my resume this morning. Uh, but I got paid to do it, which that was kind of cool. So, I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. Guys, I'm, I'm talking about boring shit now. Oh, hot, hot damn, hot damn. So, oh, there was a, uh, the other day we were coming into work, right? And somebody hit a possum right on the side of the, right on the side of the road, right on front of the entrance to our office. And it was like, oh, God dang it. And <laughs> so my boss actually ran over it. We, we had to go do something, and uh, we, we started to drive off, and he actually ran over the possum the first time. It was already dead. Don't worry, guys. It, it, we, no animals were harmed after I, uh, after, you know, I got to work. So, basically, I'm not the one that hit it either. Uh, I don't know who hit it. I don't know why I'm talking about the dead possum now, but my boss got out of the car, and... He, he, he lives right next to the office, all right? You know, and he, he rides his bike. He doesn't drive a car or anything like that to the office. He, he rides his bike because it's so close. And he decided that what he's going to do is he's going to get out and he's going to move that possum so he doesn't have to smell it in the morning or on his way home. So he gets out and he, he, he just grabs it by the tail and drags it across the street, throws it in the yard across the street, but my God, when he started, when the, when he moved that thing, it immediately started stinking bad. Like I mean, it smelled awful. It smelled awful, guys. It was nasty. 
It was gross. I, I, he definitely, I wasn't going to do it. Glad he did it. I, I did not want to do that. I've had to move dead animals before when I was at work, and it's not a fun thing. It's not a fun thing, guys. You know, because I work out of the rural area. What are we going to do? Just leave it there? I mean, we can, but yeah. One time, though, I, uh, there was a dead raccoon out in front of one of the places I had an internship at, and it was like, well, we got this is why we got interns. <laughs> they gave me a shovel and said, go move it. That was gross. That was gross. At least it was kind of fresh, so it didn't really stink all that bad, but oh god, it was nasty. It was nasty, guys. Nasty. Alright, but maybe we should actually start talking about some car news or anything like that. Is there any good car news? I feel like there was. Damn it, controller, stop drifting! Like, I hate that, guys. I really, really do. I, I need to go get a new controller. I, I do, and when we get into Forza 7, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad because, you know, we're going to keep on, like, messing up and all that sort of stuff. People are going to be like, stop blaming the controller, it's your own fault. This controller is legitimately broken. Full cock on the wheel right now. And, yeah, we, we weren't moving at all. Look at that, guys. Look at that. It, it, it's just, it doesn't want to do things all the time. And I think what it is, is I'm partially pulling down, and maybe it doesn't want to go that way. But, oh, God! All right, we need to, we need to really focus on this one. We might have to do a little bit of rewinding. But it's, we're, we're in sixth place now, guys. This KTM crossbow is so much better. We got distracted with the story time, guys. It ruined us. It ruined us! I got complacent. All right, here we go. We didn't even check the leaderboards on this one. Uh, so we ain't gonna get a leaderboard time, that's for sure. Especially after that last lap. We, we just did not do good. We did not do good at all in that last lap. Uh, mostly because I was Kind of make myself sick talking about dead animals. That's, why was I doing that? Why was I doing that, guys? It's, it's kind of a weird, weird deal. Sometimes, I will say, though, you got to do stuff you don't want to do. Because it's what you just got to do. It, it, it's kind of weird. You know, because, um, for example, most of like, the places that have worked, the employees have to clean the bathrooms. And... Some people don't realize that. You know, when they go off into the workplace, that not every company has, you know, dedicated cleaning staff or anything like that. Like, no one's going to come in and vacuum up my office. If I want to vacuum my office or I want the floor clean or anything like that, I got to do it. I have to vacuum my office, and I don't have a problem with it. But there are some people, though, that I've met in the past, and Jesus, they are just... They are strictly adamant against it. They're like, no, someone else is going to do this. And it's like, dude, we don't have a cleaning crew or anything like that. We don't have anybody that just, you know, this is their job. And we went way too wide there. But someone's already finished, so we couldn't rewind back to the end. So we ended up only with a sixth place. Wait. Oh, God. Oh, God. I thought that was the finish line, and we still had, like, 200 feet to go. We almost got past by the Mercedes behind us. Oh, that would have been embarrassing if that happened. That would have been embarrassing. But anyway, though, we've got our KTM crossbow. We did not focus nearly enough, and it kind of cost us just a little bit. But picked up around 10 grand. Not too bad. Not too bad. And how much did we get experience wise? We got ourselves 7,200 experience. Again, not too bad. Oh, guys, I, I, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm talking about weird stuff now. I'm talking about weird stuff. Now head back to Abu Dhabi and but Yas Marina Circus. our final race is at Yas Bay. Yas Bay. Yas. 
But anyway, though, Abu Dhabi. I feel like I... I'm pretty sure Abu Dhabi is a pretty nice place. I'm not entirely sure, though, but I mean, look at that architecture. Guys, it's so nice. Oh. My great-grandfather was an architect, and honestly, this guy's is... Oh, man, I love this. I, I, I love seeing, like, cool buildings like that. It just... It, it kind of ruffles my jimmies a little bit. Kind of ruffles my jimmies. But here we go. Two laps of yas. And here we go. Got our crossbow. Come on, man. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, that was a good start. Good start. Here we go. I see an Aston Martin 177. Is that 177? In A class? That is a 177. Guys, seriously, I think in like Forza Horizon 3, the 177 starts in like S class. Classes have definitely changed quite a bit because I feel like this crossbow that I have here would definitely be an S class car, not an A class. So. Oh, it's good though. There we go, yes! Up into seventh place. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Two laps, though. Hot damn. Mm. All right, come on. We gotta catch up, our car is slow. Holy crap, that Aston! That thing is going so fast. So fast. Now, the other Super A-Class car that I was reading about online I remember saying in the last episode that I thought they said it was an Aston Martin. It's not. It's actually an O2 Corvette. So, I don't know where I got Aston Martin from. But I'm sure that some, like, more powerful cars are definitely going to be more beneficial on this track. Too many straights. Alright, here we go. Oh, yes. Come on. Come to Papa. Let's go. Who is this up here in sixth place? Who is this? Who is this? Oh, but we are now in sixth place. I predicted it. And now we're going to get in front of this Aston Martin. And get into fourth. Now I see third and second. First is way. Come on, we gotta concentrate a little bit more now that we are on a higher difficulty. Can't really be telling stories, but man, man oh man. I wonder how much a used Lamborghini Gallardo costs. Now that I'm looking at that thing. Guys, I would love to have a Lamborghini Gallardo. They are beautiful cars to me. I love how the Lamborghini Gallardo looks. And especially the one that's got that glass backing on it so that you can, like, just look into the engine. I was never really a big fan of, like, the uh, the vented uh, engine cover. I, I always preferred the, uh, the glass engine cover. It was just always, like, there. And I, I remember looking one day. I was like, I wonder how much it would cost to just get that glass engine cover put on a regular Lamborghini Gallardo instead of the, you know, the, like the plastic fiberglass one that they got. Oh my god, guys, we're spinning out. Spinning out. Stupid ass Martin hitting us. Non-stick bus. It's, it, some of the names, guys, for gamer tags are hilarious. In fact, what I think I want to do is, is there a way to check? There is a way to check. All right, so we got John Man, non-stick bus. Like, that is so random. Lousy carnival. That It's not random, but it's funny. Uh, if I win, you suck. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. 
Um, any good other ones? I see, some, I see some familiar ones down there at the back. You guys need to pick up. Pick up the pace, guys. You guys are familiar to me. I know those. I, I saw a couple at the Why aren't you guys up here with me? You guys have got to be doing better than that. Come on. Turn, damn it, turn! Old Xbox One controller is breaking. There is a way to fix it, but you need a certain size wrench. I think I've said this in the last episode, but man, it's getting bored. It's, I'm getting sick of it. I, I feel like I gotta fix this. I, I gotta go get a new controller probably like this weekend or something like that. I don't want to, but I feel like we're going to. But we did end up in third, so we did get a gold medal, and we got series sweep complete five championship series. Not too bad. Not too bad. But anyway, though, that is our third race. Ooh, a second achievement. Gold Rush earned 30 gold medals in career races. Again, not too terrible. Not too terrible. 9,000 credits in that final race of the series. And what else did we get? We got to driver level 17. So we picked up another 35,000 experience. Or not experience. Credits. Hot diggity damn. But yeah, guys. I think that's good. I think that's good. I do want to like that tune. That was a good tune. And I enjoyed this crossbow very, very much. Let's go ahead and hit continue. And I want to go buy an expensive car. Just for shits and giggles. Uh, we we'll probably won't use it for quite a while. Because we are moving on to the ultimate game. But we got 12,000 credits and unlocked four bonus events. So not too bad. What are these bonus events, by the way? I think they're like special ones or something like that, right? Yeah. So we can keep on going. We'll, we'll have to do it one other day. But what is our next race that we're going to do? So we got this specialized. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why did we wait? Maybe that is what we will do. We'll do the sports truck next. I think that will be a fun series to do. But like I said, I'm going to go buy an expensive car. So let's go ahead and find ourselves an expensive car. So I want to sort this. What? I can't sort by price. Oh, man. So let's see. That car is 350000 Only 350000 All right. What do we want? You know what I kind of want? I kind of want that Aston Martin. Mm, DBS, God, I want one of those too. 177 and a Vanquish. Oh my God. Guys, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to buy the Vanquish just for shits and giggles. Oh my God. Yeah, this thing was so quick though there at the end. Red Chrome, matte, an original Forza Motorsport logo. I'm kind of impressed, man. I, you don't see that very often. Xbox One, Chrome. Chrome. Uh, I don't know what that is. This looks like Batman. Let's look at this design. Let's look at this design. You don't see a whole lot of good Batman designs out there. Uh, it's not the greatest. I mean, don't get me wrong. That Batman logo is so good. But when you use the same thing on all three sides... Uh, I don't know. It's still... A fantastic Batman logo, and I could not do any better than that. I, I will say that. I mean, I probably couldn't even do that. I like it. I do like it, guys. I do. Now, I will also un say this. With Forza Motorsport 5, we were so limited by designs because everyone had to start over. Everybody had to start over. They couldn't spend their time, you know, sitting here making this logo, this logo, this logo. They had to make one design and try and get it out. So, like... The first designs that came in Forza Motorsport 5 were absolute booty. They were bad. Then they started to get better over time. And yeah. Yeah. I, I, I do like the design. Don't, don't get me wrong, guys. The design is great. But let's go ahead. And I actually want to see this in Forza Vista. Let's take a look. Ooh. It's like a special look. When Aston Martin was founded in 1913... They had little idea their luxury cars would someday be fighting evil across the world. 
At the heart of Aston Martin's appeal is its exquisite beauty. Each car is balanced from every angle, with each line creating a perfect form. Using this golden ratio, Aston Martins have earned a reputation as some of the most beautiful cars in the world. For half a century, Aston Martin has also been the car of choice for super spy James Bond. Starting with 1963's Goldfinger, Aston Martins have been tangling with some of the most dangerous villains in cinematic history. After the release of Goldfinger, Aston Martin had to double production of the DB5 to keep up with demand. Fifty years later, the iconic car returned to the screen in Skyfall, the latest and most successful Bond movie. Oh, guys. Yeah, Aston Martin is such a beautiful car. Let's take a look inside. I know we're on the wrong side here, but... No, we're on the right side. Okay. This is an American one. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my God. What I want to do just to ever sit in one of these. God. Oh, my God, guys. This is such an amazing car. Such an amazing car. Let's actually... Let's listen to it. Oh. Just look at that. Look at that. I don't even know why we're looking at this, but... Oh, man, it, it's good. Mmm. Mmm. That, that kind of sounded a little bit generic. I will say that. that it, yeah, it sounded a little bit generic. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, I'm loving it. I am... Loving it. Oh ho ho. Oh ho ho. Look at that. Look at that. But anyway, though, that is where we're going to go ahead and wrap it up for today. Guys, I know it's a little bit sad, but Forza Motorsport 5 is going to be replaced with Forza Motorsport 7 for the time being. We might see Forza Motorsport 5 come back later, and it probably won't come back as a daily series like it has been recently although i will say last week was a little bit iffy but guys i want i want to thank you guys so much for you know watching this series didn't get a whole lot of views i do understand though this game is fairly old so but do not worry do not fret it will come back someday it will come back someday but anyway, though, that is where we're going to go and wrap it up for today. If you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash girl413 and instagram.com forward slash girl413. And as well, if you guys are hyped for Forza Motorsport 7, go ahead and leave a like down below for us. Because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to hit subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.